I'm Daniel Bear. I'm a coffee roaster at Insight Coffee Roasters. That's a before roast. The same coffee, before roast and after roast. We give them in burlap bags that range from 100 pounds to 125 pounds. Uh, then we put deep deposit into the 25 pound roaster. Pretty much get 15 pounds every 15 minutes. Beginning stages is drying it out control with the different uses of heat and air. We have a fan, we have three fans that are connected to the roast right now. One is blowing air through the roasting drum that's roasting the coffee. One is sucking the hot air off of the finished roasted coffee so it's continue to cook after you finish it. It's all for controlling the variables the coffee taste and does. Drying the coffee out and then starting to manipulate the sugars on the inside. Eventually it's going to start caramelizing and the protein inside is going to alter and the chemical like makeup of the coffee is going to change. And eventually once it hits a certain breaking point it goes through a process called first crack. Imagine the seed takes in so much energy it actually cracks like popcorn does and it starts radiating and that's how you start getting the aroma, the flavor, the caffeine in coffee. I know coffee loses a lot of weight. It's dry out. You can see like sometimes some scorches happen, which means the seed gets caught or it doesn't have any moisture and immediately just singes it off. Coffee loses about 20% of its weight when it's roasted, so we get about 15 pounds out. And we'll repeat that anywhere from 15 times to 30 times a day, and then we'll add on in another day. We try to switch it one day, it's uh, reserved for our wholesale counts, so all the other coffee shops that aren't affiliated with Insight directly. Then we have a day that is just for a cafe, Southside, Capital, and Pavilion. And eventually once power out so we'll have the port.